morning. Uh, this hearing is here by call to order. Yeah, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of uh, the <coughs> Vice Chair of the Committee on Public Order and Dangerous Drugs, Senator Greg Onasan. Good morning, sir. And uh, <coughs> lady and uh, gentlemen, this measure may look simple in its intended purpose, but as we go on with the discussion this morning, you'll find out that it's more complicated than we think. You know? uh, through this hearing, of course, this hearing is called <coughs> Uh, in relation to the following uh, bill, Senate Bill 1869, filed by this representation, Senate Bill number 1875, filed by uh, Senator Grace Poe, <coughs> and uh, of course, House Bill number 5236, which for the information of everyone, has been approved on third reading uh, at the lower house. Through this hearing, we hope to answer three critical questions. First, why do we need to change <coughs> Uh, the, or modify the ranks for our uh, PNP personnel, both uh, PCOs and PNCOs. Second, would this measure not uh, have an impact or distortion of ranks and or diminution of benefits under, the, under Joint Circular Number 1, you know, which will take effect on January 1, 2019? This was uh, uh, defended on the floor by Senator Nasan, being the chairman of the Committee on Defense and uh, Security. Uh, joint circle number one of Congress uh, increases the base pay of uniform personnel, both of the PNP and PNP. Mamaya, makikita natin medyo may confusion. And lastly, definitely not the last, uh, anong effect nito do sa constitutional provision uh, on the civilian character of the police? Kasi imamodify natin yung ranks, <coughs> parang similar do sa mga military ranks. So with that, I'd like to welcome our resource speakers or resource persons this morning, <coughs> representing uh, OIC, the ILG Secretary, and APOLCOM Chairman uh, Ed Año, with Undersecretary Bernardo Florese, Jr. Good morning, sir. <coughs> and representing Justice Secretary Minardo Guevara, we're joined today by Assistant Secretary Sergio Yap the, the second, and the uh, State Council uh, Ruben Luna, Alden Ruben Luna. We also welcome the, the representative from Napolcom, your Commissioner Sinaida Brosas, ma'am. Uh, good morning. Of course, from the PNP, we have uh, Police Director Cascolan. Congratulations. It's a promotion, it's a position, but not yet in rank, no? Uh, Police Director uh, Kubos, the PNP, Police Chief Superintendent uh, Makatlang, uh, Chief, Sup Chief Superintendent uh, Masigon, and then D Deputy, D Deputy Director HRDD uh, Rojas, uh, Police Chief Superintendent Rojas. And uh, all those uh, at the back, welcome to the Senate. <coughs> now first, first question, why do we need to modify the ranks? of the PNP personnel. Uh, Mr. Chair, before I answer the question, may I uh, greet everybody, sir, a uh, good morning to Senator uh, uh, Gregorio Nassan, sir. Good morning, sir. And of course, to our uh, honorable chair. If I may, sir, read the uh, opening statement first of the chief PNP, which was, which was given to me with your approval, sir. To the chairman of the Senate Committee on Public Order and Dangerous Drugs, and to the Honorable Senator Gregorio Nasser II, present today, magandang umaga po. The Philippine National Police expresses its sincere gratitude to the Committee Chairman, Honorable Senator Panfilo M. Lacson, for scheduling the deliberation of these two PNP priority bills. We particularly thank you, Your Honor, for graciously acceding to sponsor Senate Bill 1869. Likewise, the PNP thanks Honorable Senator Grace L. Po, the author of Senate Bill 1875 for continuously supporting the police. We are pleased to inform this August body that the counterpart House Bill 5236 was also approved on its third reading in Congress. The PNP strongly supports the immediate passage of Senate Bills 1869 and 1875 into law that will allow the police to use the more familiar military sounding ranks and forego with the confusing civilian rank nomenclatures. For the past 20 years, the PNP had been diligently and persistently enlightening the public regarding the correct police ranks as provided by law. 
even fellow civil servants in the government sometimes get confused with the PNP rank classification. The use of the military sounding ranks will be advantageous to both the PNP and the community. And may we please consider the following. Number one, on the part of the PNP, the amendment will result in clearer comparison between police and military ranks. In the field, similarity between PNP ranks and counterpart AFP rank, ranks will pro promote interoperability between police officers and equivalent military officers, which in turn could enhance joint internal security operations, counter-terrorism operations, and operations against other threats to national security. Two, as for the community, if psychological studies are to be believed that familiar names are judged more positively than those difficult to recall, then PNP ranks that can be easily recalled will promote familiarity of the common town with the policemen on the street and thus contribute, contribute in our effort to narrow the gap between the police and the populace. Number three, further amending PNP ranks to make it closely resemble military ranks used by other for foreign police forces will make our rank classification easier to compare with our counter counterpart police officers, not only in the ASEAN, but also with the police forces of other countries. The PNP is not oblivious to the constitu constitutional intent of a civilian police, which is why, despite our bid to amend the ranks to make it closely resemble military ranks, the essence of a civilian police, as articulated during the Constitutional Commission deliberation, will continue to be safeguarded. For instance, separation of the police force from the military structure will be maintained. The police will not be returned under the military control as this was the setup sought to be corrected by Constitution. Thus, existing institutional arrangements that ensure the separation of the PNP from the AFP will not be disturbed. Number two, military personnel shall continue to be prohibited from occupying positions in the police force. Positions both in the PNP and the National Police Commission will remain to be occupied by uniformed PNP personnel and civilians, respectively. The police will remain to be under civilian authority with a DILG secretary acting as ex officio chairman of the National Police Commission. Number three, more importantly, the mission-oriented outlook of the military command will not replace the existing police community relations doctrine of the PNP, which will remain to adopt a service-oriented outlook. There will, be there will be no diminution of community participation in the administration and, to a limited extent, in the control of the police. Local chief executives shall remain to exercise their powers over, lo over local police forces. The constitutional intent of a civilian police is to integrate it into society and remedy its isolation from the citizenry and to imbibe civilian values into the police service by inculcating community and service-oriented mentality upon members of the police force. This constitutional intent, your honors, may still be effectively, effectively achieved even without the Before we tackle the second question, yung possible uh, diminution sa, 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 ano, sa salary uh, scale, yeah. ano? let's hear from the DOJ so we can dispense with your presence. Yung constitutional challenge, possible constitutional challenge, do sa civilian character ng PNP. Uh, kasi when we use similar military ranks, baka merong impact. Yun lang gusto namin maraming sa inyo. Uh, Mr. Chair? Uh, Senator Lacson, good, good morning. Uh, Senator Gregorio Nasan, Vice Chairman. Um, the Department of Justice uh, submitted our legal opinion as to this matter, uh, dated uh, August 10, 2018, uh, duly signed by Undersecretary Emeline Aglipay Villar. So, if I may, Ms. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would... And we confirm uh, having received the same, yeah, the legal opinion. Thank you. Please, please proceed. Um, upon review, 
the Department of Justice finds no clear and categorical infringement of the Constitution. The proposed amendment is consistent with the constitutional mandate and duty of the Department of the Government of serving and protecting the people. As the modification merely seeks to simplify the rank classification of uniformed personnel in the Philippine National Police by patterning the same with its military equivalent without altering their established functions and designations. This, in turn, effectively eliminates the confusion as regards the proper hierarchy of ranks within the PNP, insofar as the public is concerned. Furthermore, as pointed out in the explanatory note of Senate Bill Number 1869, it simply seeks to promote interoperability between police officers and equivalent military officers in the field, as it will further enhance clarity in the rank association and chain of command. Finally, the proposed amendment does not change the civilian character of the National Police Force, as provided under Section 6, Article uh, 16 of the 1987 Philippine Constitution. The adoption of the military equivalent rank does not imply transfer of control over the PNP from civilian authority to the military. The PNP remains to be civilian in character, administered and controlled by the National Police Commission under the Department of Interior and Local Government. To reiterate, the Department of Justice fully supports the affirmation bills, uh, the subject bills, and interposes no objection to the same. The Department finds the provisions of the bills consistent with the Constitution, other relevant laws, and in harmony with the legislative intent it wishes to achieve. Uh, that is all, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Asik uh, Yap. Um, anyway, we'll proceed to some more contentious or more complicated, I would say, uh, issue. Yung possible uh, distortion to sa uh, yung effect to sa Joint Circular Number 1 yung increase in pay and, uh, and salaries di ba? ng uh, forces. I have here a copy of Republic Act 9365, ano? amending Republic Act 8220. Ito yung creation, uh, sa armed forces ito, eh? creation of the rounds of first chief master sergeant, first master chief petty officer in the enlisted rounds of the armed forces, sa Navy yun. Ano? Uh, Nag-create pa rin ng, ng chief Master Sergeant, first Chief Master Sergeant, Chief Master Sergeant, at saka Master Sergeant, di ba? I suppose, yung uh, first Chief Master Sergeant, ito yung Sergeant Major ng buong Armed Forces of the Philippines. Yung Chief Master Sergeant, ito yung Sergeant Major ng uh, mga major services. And then yung uh, Master Sergeant, ito yung Ordinary Master Sergeant. Now, there's no equivalent rank sa PNP. And there are equivalent uh, increases in, in their salaries under Joint Circular Number 1. So, meron bang equivalent na Sergeant Major sa PNP? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, how do you uh, classify the, the rank? Sir, uh, uh, Senior Police Officer 4. But uh, the most senior uh, Master Sergeant is Senior uh, ano? Chief. Chief. Chief Executive Senior Police Officer. Po, kung but namin po. It is not reflected to Joint Circular Number One. Walang difference ng uh, salary between uh, the SPO4, SPO4, the ordinary SPO4, yes, sir. and the senior SPO. executive, executive uh, police SPO4, officer, whatever you, uh, whatever yes, name you call it, ano? So walang differential sa walang incremental increase, di ba? Yes. And there are two other ranks in the AFP na merong uh, diferensya sa salary uh, increase. So how do we address that? I suppose we have to create uh, additional ranks para hindi na tayo magpapasa ng, uh, ng iba pang uh, batas. Ito, ito yung table eh. Tingnan nyo yun. Ah. We also need the assistance or the opinion of uh, DOJ Kasi may, may effect din ito. Of course, DBM. Sana kung... Uh, DBM. DBM yun. Merong impact yan ha, sa, sa salary. Yun. 
if we create, say, a uh, first senior police officer four, of course, wala naman tayong uh, equivalent to sa mga major services because the PNP itself is one major service na wala namang uh, ibang, walang equivalent component sa, sa PNP yung nasa armed forces kasi there, there are three major services, major service commands in the AFP. So how do we resolve that? And then yung corporal, madidistort yung ranggo niya kasi ang equivalent niya sa AFP, uh, masasabi yan. A sar staff sergeant. Eh, wala naman kayo staff sergeant. Look, iyan ano yung sa second page. Dead doon sa... Wala ba? Yung second... Uh, yan, yan, yan. Yan. So, let's, let's crack our heads and find out how we, re how we should resolve this, uh, this uh, issue. Napolcom, can we hear from you? Ay, we also welcome my good friend. <laughs> <laughs> Vice Chair uh, Kasura, maganda maga po. And of course, Commissioner uh, Mangente, or Mang Mangente ba? Mangente. Pilipino nga pala. Sige. May we're from Napolcom, kung meron tayo possible uh, resolution, how do we possibly resolve this issue? There are no equivalent ranks, and uh, this will be affected by the newly uh, uh, passed measure, yung Joint Circular Number 1. Uh, increasing the uh, pay and salaries of, uh, of uh, AFP and PNP personnel. Sabi ko sa inyo, hindi ganun kasimple. Kung intent and purpose lang, kung confused lang, na, baka lalo tayo makonfuse dito, ah. Yes, uh, From DILG, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, sir. Um, fr from, this pr from the presentation, sir, that uh, we have a fire... Fire Chief Master Sergeant, Chief Master Sergeant, and Senior Master Sergeant. In uh, the PNP uh, positions, uh, we have the uh, uh, Ser Sergeant Major, who is in charge of the whole PNP. That would uh, that would be, or that would, that could be the first Chief Master Sergeant. And then we have uh, the regional, uh, regional, and. Um, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that that could be the equivalent, sir, as well as the different NSUs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so if I may, yes, yeah. the, the intention actually of the PNP is actually to change only the uh, rank classification uh, when it so that it would be interoperable with the uh, AFP. When it comes to Chief Master Sergeant, Senior Master Sergeant, and First Chief Master Sergeant, as explained to you, these are actually the CESPOS, RESPOS, the uh, city or provincial, the uh, regional ESPOS, and the Sergeant Major in the PNP. With regard to their... Uh, their uh, uh, pay and allowances, sir, it's, it's the same as to the rank of Master Sergeant. The only thing is, there are some benefits that are being uh, uh, given to them as uh, higher than the, uh, as to their position. The position of the uh, rank of Senior Master Sergeant, Chief Master Sergeant, and First Chief Master Sergeant has the equivalent of uh, TO position in the PNP, which is, which are actually in charge. These are actually what you call the officers of the PNCOs in the PNP. Yan sir yung kwanda. But we do not, uh, we did not uh, jack up or increase their, their, uh, their pay, pay and allowances. So they will remain to the level, salary level? Yes sir. Yes sir. But may mga bungi nga eh. Tingnan nyo. Ah sir. Mr. Can you contribute? Kasi... Milo. Uh, so what you're telling your committee is that these are positions, yes. not ranks. Yes, sir. Okay. So yung benefits does not accrue to the standardization of the base pay. Okay. And, uh, uh, I suggest, as the chair suggested, we we process this properly, no? Because there are legal implications. Even if we succeed in passing this, 
no, in defend, uh, the chair defends this in uh, plenary, uh, there might be a, a legal or constitutional backlash. Ilang ang sinasabi natin. No? Because uh, uh, we had a difficult time defending the, the uh, indexation, no? yung sinabi ni Presidente, because of the demand from other sectors. It will cut across the board. Hindi lang sa, yung sinasabi ni Chair kanina, na hindi lang it will not impact only on the police, and the AFP, but teachers, nurses. No? So let, let's just be, my, my suggestion, our suggestion is for us to be precise in this, uh, in this regard. We'll do that, sir. For example, how will you classify your corporal will remain uh, to be the equivalent of staff sergeant? No? Sa ngayon, yung police officer 3, yun ang equivalent ng police, uh, ng, uh, ng staff sergeant sa AFP. Ang sweldo niya is 32,144, yun ang base pay. So, sa, under your proposal, corporal yun. So, saan mo siya ilalagay? Do sa sergeant o sa technical sergeant? He will remain to be the equivalent of the staff sergeant with the uh, base pay of 32,114. Ganun ba proposal ninyo? So may we huddle for a minute, sir? Sige. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. The hearing is suspended. Thank you, sir. So, yamen na natin yung... Kaya nga, nung no, pinasan nyo ito sa House, wala pa yung joint resolution? Yes, sir. Oh, yun nga eh. Kaya nga, kaya, kaya nga nagkaroon distortion kasi naipasan, na-overtaken nung, nung uh, passage ng joint resolution number one which is, I believe, more important to you. <laughs> if, if we may... Will we uh, yes, resume sir. the hearing? Yes, uh, the hearing is resumed. So if I may, uh, while we are discussing actually, may we, may we just uh, give an initial uh, uh, comment? Because the private supposed to be in the DND is equivalent to the PO1 in the PNP. And supposed to be the private first class to PO2 the corporal PO3, the sergeant in the PNP is actually the SPO1. Uh, going up, staff sergeant is SPO2, technical sergeant is SPO3, master sergeant is SPO4. For the senior master and chief master sergeants, these are only these are positions of uh, higher uh, of higher uh, grade, but the same allowance and benefits with the SPO4. What we were just asking was the rank classification. Um, we will be evaluating with regard to the monthly base pay because the monthly base pay so was included here then. So the 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 request at uh, uh, the actually the uh, the thing that the PNP only wants is actually the rank classification, sir. We will evaluate this uh, monthly base pay. That is correct, but yes, may sir. impact that because uh, may effect ng law yung joint circular number one, and then papano mo ngayon na uh, susweldo yung corporal. Paano mo isusweldo nyo yung uh, patrolman uh, first class? No? And, and so for the so on. Saan mo, saan mo sila dadalhin? Pakiat, pababa. And necessarily, you may have to amend joint circular number one. Yun ang dapat nating i-resolve dito. And I assume na mas gusto nyo i-adjust na lang yung uh, rank classification to conform with the monthly base pay uh, as contained those uh, joint circular number one, di ba? Hindi yung, hindi yung joint circular number one mag-a-adjust sa rank classification. It should be the other way around. 
but we have to resolve that. Um, the PNP sir follows the uh, salary grade in the uh, civil service. At the same time, uh, the PNP sir is uh, civilian in nature. That's why we we come up with the salary grades. Uh, we believe sir that in the AFP it has a different uh, salary grade as in the civi civilian uh, civilian sector. We will study that so we, we are already uh, looking after it. DOJ, anong effect nito? May effect to sa ma-amend eh. It's either mag-adjust tayo ng rango to confirm. But again, uh, dahil batas na yung say patrolman will be receiving starting January 29,668 patrol numbers, mabubungi yung iba. So saan mo ipapasok yun? to comply with Joint Circular Number 1, with the provisions of Joint Circular Number Ang, ang suggestion dito is i-rename nyo na lang yung, ibahin nyo yung nomenclature ng rango. Uh, pwede nyo tanggalin yung uh, patrolman first class, mag-create kayong equivalent. Di ba? Police corporal. Oh, may corporal din sa, di, sa AFP. Uh, police sergeant, police top sergeant. Would you like to do that? Kasi may mga equivalent lahat yan eh. We will, sir. We will evaluate again, sir. Kasi take advantage na rin natin because we're dealing with grant classification. That's what we are amending. No, We don't. We shouldn't touch anymore uh, yung naipasang joint circular number one. Mas madugo yun eh. Nahirapan nga si Senator Greg mag... mag uh, ano yan? How many hours, Mr. Did you defend this on the floor? Many painful hours. <laughs> Ah, uh, my lord. So, tinanong ko kanina kung ito ay rango ay precision. Sa AFP, if I recall correctly, no, uh, klaro yung tra trajectory, upward, yung career pattern, no? Okay, uh, I suppose sa PNP, medyo iba. Okay, suppose ma-reassign. Ano ang impact nun sa, yes. Uh, Mr. Chair, it's actually the same, sir. Uh, the traje traje trajectory of the uh, PNP organizational structure is also going up. Oh. At the same time, if they will be transferred to other areas, they should be occupying the, the position equivalent to the ranks. Ah, okay. Yes, sir. So, or so higher. Oh, so, walang downward trajectory? None, sir. Puro pakyat? Yes, sir. Unless? Unless. Oh, unless, yes, for, course, for course. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. As an aside, ano, related din ito, meron ba kayo sinusunod din na timing grade yeah. for promotion uh, to uh, a higher rank, to a particular higher rank? Say, say FP, klaro eh. Yung uh, tenyente, after three years, magiging uh, first lieutenant, di ba? Another three years, magiging uh, captain. Another four years, magiging major. Sa PNP, meron din mag-anon. Yes, sir. Regular, ha? Regular promotion. Yes, sir. So may I give uh, our director of DP, uh, General sir, for promotion, we have uh, time and grade uh, requirements. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to the other uh, QS, qualification standards, you know, education, training, and uh, eligibility. So, yun palagi sir, ang tinitingnan namin yung apat na qualification Say, standards. how many years uh, would it take a, an inspector to be promoted to senior inspector? Yung regular, ah? Di ba mas sir. promotion ito? Uh, 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 because of time and grade? Three years, sir. Three years. Yeah, three years. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and then senior inspector to chief inspector. Uh, three years, lah. Three years. Hanggang, ano, hanggang uh, chief inspector. How about yung sa PNCOs? Yung uh, PO1 to PO2. May automatic uh, promotion then? Wala, sir. Automatic uh, promotion. So how uh, do you uh, determine? Depende, sir, sa, sa vacancies na per unit, per, per region. Yes, Pati sir. sa PCOs, di ba, may mga, may mga vacancy rin kayong sinusunod. You cannot be promoted to chip soup 
unless there's a vacancy. Because uh, because of the, the DBM requirement, di ba? Just sa, sa PS. Okay. Vice Chair, can you help us out? Um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair, our position has been uh, submitted uh, already to the committee. And I think uh, I've been reading House Bill Number 5236, the Senate Bill Number 1869, introduced by the Honorable Chair, as well as uh, Senate Bill 1875 by the Honorable uh, Senator Grace Poe. Our position paper is actually a full embrace of the pending Senate bills as well as the House bills, Your, uh, your, your Honor. Uh, our position is very simple. If there is a need to transpose the present uh, ranking system at the PNP to be familiar or at least uh, similar to that of uh, the EFP, uh, I think the presentation of the bills are very clear already. What we do not understand, understand now is the uh, literal uh, transposition of the DND ranking to the PNP. Because from the Director General down to the P01, I think there is an equivalent rank already with the, the AFP. Because uh, what I feel is, the issue here is, is there a violation of the civilian character of the PNP just because we are adapting the AFP system of ranking? The only thing is, it's preceded by the word police. I, I think that has been very simplified already by both the uh, Senate bills, so that the other ramifications, like the other ranks under the DNP, which finds no exact uh, equivalent to the PNP, has not been part of the issue when this thing was uh, submitted to us for our position, uh, Mr. Chair. But as it is now, it's very clear to us that both the Senate bills and the House bills are very much uh, already consistent with what is existing now with the PNP. May mga ranggo po na wala equivalent. For example, may second lieutenant sa AFP. Wala namang second and first lieutenant. There's only one lieutenant in the PNP. And then, yun, kung bibilangin po natin lahat yung ranggo sa, sa DND sa, sa PNP, hindi magtutugma eh. Kaya ma, may impact ito doon sa joint circle number one. Kasi... Kung sa John Circle number 1, specific na yung uh, patrolman, tatanggap ng 29,668, saan natin siya ilalagay? Sa private first class? O yung corporal halimbawa, uh, equivalent na police officer 2 in, in, in pay? Saan natin siya ngayon ikakategorize pagdating dito sa proposed uh, measure to conform with the pay scale? My, my thinking, uh, your, uh, Mr. Chair, is if this uh, law, uh, if this amendment is passed, finally passed into law, will it not uh, prevail upon the joint circular? DOJ, may you hear your view? Parang amendatory. Effectively, this will amend joint circular number one. Mr. Chair, I think we, we need the opinion also of the DBM because uh, there's no problem about the ranking classification, but then I think the issue now is the salary also. So we need the opinion of the DBM also. The issue is on the salary uh, to conform with the proposed rank classification. Diba? Yun ang naging problema. Yes, the ILG. Thank you, sir. I, I go with the position of, uh, of the vice chair that we really need to classify uh, rank versus position. 
Now, regarding regarding this uh, pending bill, I think we have to retain the uh, the uh, the rank as recommended. Uh, police uh, private, police uh, private first class. But then it would be hard to for the PNP to create another set of ranks. But instead, uh, probably we can just create positions that would call uh, for those, for those uh, salaries, such that there could be a, a police officer or private, uh, police, police private uh, A, for example, but with another, another uh, position or other function. So we we just we we'll just leave it at that, no? Kung wala rin talaga equivalent yung uh, private yung uh, private first class, iwanan lang ng blanco yon. That's what you're suggesting, as suggested by uh, by Sir Casurao. So let's not disturb anymore the. Not necessarily a rank. Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. My, my, my thinking also is, if we keep on following the steps of the AFP and the DND in terms of rank, as we are attempting to do it now, it could, it could be an endless uh, activity for us. Because every time there are changes in the AFP, we have to adjust accordingly. So it becomes now a joint activity always between the EFB and the PNP, only in so far as ranking is concerned. So I think uh, the amendments proposed by both uh, the Senate bills are very clear already that in terms of salaries, it has been established already that uh, the salaries for this particular rank is there. The only purpose why we, uh, the PNP is asking for the transposition of this rank is, as earlier said, to avoid confusion, to immediately establish the, the similarities in ranks whenever there are conferences, where there, whenever there are gatherings. I think this is aptly and uh, substantially uh, answered already by the uh, proposed Senate bills, which is very clear already about the issue of using military ranks. Vice uh, Chair Casurao, no? yes, you're conferring with the Chairman. Ang problema ho natin, I'm trying to reduce this to terms you can understand. No? Uh, we are not basing our rank classifications purely on the uh, AAP. Yeah. Okay. Ang problema lang natin is, may mga butal. So pag may butal, anong sweldo ang ibibigay natin doon sa non-existent na ranggo? Now, I was thinking, Mr. Chair, no? Maybe you can start this, uh, Milo, no? Kung pinapactor pa rin ninyo yung time in grade, ang pag-uusapan lang natin dito, no? By some mechanism is kung yung sweldong ibibigay ay dun sa mas mababa o dun sa mas mataas. And I think there are precise variables that will allow us to decide on that. Now, procedurally, without impacting on joint resolution number one, sasabihin lang natin categorically. Dahil kulang ka sa time in grade, ang sweldo mo, dun sa mas mababa. Let's say, private first class. <coughs> Patron man. Kung mas mataas, sufficient yung timing grade and other variables, no? then we can move to patrol man first class. Dahil may butal eh. That, that's one approach. But, uh, Mr. Chair, I suggest that we, we, we process this uh, because of the implications nga. As the Chair said, uh, at the start of the hearing. Uh, it's not a cut and dried issue. No. At the same time, uh, <coughs> Your Honor, the same time the uh, equivalent of the uh, rank classification to the AFP actually differs here already in joint resolution number one. Mm -hmm. Say, for example, uh, from senior police officer one, this should be equivalent to staff sergeant. That's what we're saying right now, sir. Ah, uh, Mr. Chair. If I may, no. uh, yes, If you look at the explanatory note of 1869, no? proposed Senate Bill 1869, yes, authored by the chairman, 
uh, promote interoperability. Yes, sir. Di ba? Oh. Uh, for ISO, counterterrorism, etc. Nothing to do whatsoever on how the AAP conducts its affairs. Yes, sir. Interoperability. Yes, sir. In fact, I was <coughs> making some notes. Ang operational readiness ng AAP is move, communicate, and shoot. Yes, sir. Sa PNP, move, communicate, shoot, shoot. and investigate. Yes, sir. Does it, does it enhance that, this operational readiness criteria? It's written in the explanatory note. No? So it's not, you know, I, I would like to add value to what has been inputted already by uh, Vice Chair Casurao. No? Hindi ito, hindi tayo sumusunod sa kumpas ng AAP. What we're trying to enhance is interoperability and then enhance operational readiness kayo may dagdag eh investigate di ba? move, communicate, shoot and investigate thank you Mr. Chair so para ma-abbreviate na rin yung uh, proceedings natin this morning uh, kasi if we keep on discussing this no, we might be able to reach the buttocks of Jennifer Lopez <laughs> so <laughs> So, mas magandang uh, iwanan na muna natin, then uh, i-process nyo and submit your position paper, maybe, and then we conduct our TWG. So, may pasa na rin namin ito, and I can, uh, I can make a committee report uh, taking into consideration your input, additional input, uh, kung ano yung impact nito sa... But I see the point of Vice Chair Kasuraw, na wag nang pakialaman yung yung salary uh, sa joint circular number one. May mga equivalent naman talaga. So, okay with that. Uh, uh, but, yes, Mr. Uh, Chair, uh, let me add. Ito request. Uh, I don't know Vice Chair Casuro, no? Or Milo. Maybe as you make your submissions, no? Can you educate the committee? Hindi lang kasi kami ni Chairman ang membro, no? We will have to educate the entire chamber, especially if you want to proactively prepare for the plenary defense of this measure, no? Uh, can you educate your committee for the education of the other senators also of the history? Why we started classifying this? Yeah. Pa, pa, how did you come up with SPO? Of course, it's um, 6975, ano? Dahil paulit-ulit, lagi natin nakikita, uh, national in scope, civilian in character, which is what I wanted to ask Vice Chair Kasura. Have we fully implemented 6975 in its true spirit? That's only the tip of the iceberg. Meron pang isa. Chairman of the Napolcom and SILG. One person wearing two hats. This has been a recurring issue. Pag inutusan ng SILG yung regional commander, obligado bang sumunod without passing to the GPNP? I mean, technical, yeah? Yes. Oh. Operational control and administrative supervision. So, these are the factors that have to be inputted if you want to make a comprehensive submission. Para, alam nyo naman, di ba? Pag uh, plenary na. Uh, <laughs> we will do that, sir. Uh, actually, we have a briefing right now, sir, but uh, I think those things are not uh, in included in our briefing. But oh. we will give you the history of the uh, Philippine National Police. Uh, until, of course, uh, uh, tayo tayo lang naman dito. In fact, if you look back, and it's also partially my fault, bakit hiniwalay yung PCINP sa EAP? Dahil ang recruitment for the kudetas noon was mainstream. O kailangan ng sariling army nung... Di ba? But, but uh, that's... <laughs> that's behind us now. We're looking forward, moving forward. Okay, so, levity aside, the, Your Honor, Ang talagang uh, parang primary purpose nito to avoid confusion kasi after all you know I share this I'll share this experience when I was GPNP nobody called me director general eh general talaga tawag eh and then nobody calls a senior superintendent colonel and uh, nobody calls him senior superintendent colonel so may confusion and then yung interoperability uh, aspect pagka you're talking with your counterparts confused din yung counterparts niyo kung sino yung ka-level niya yeah. di ba Pag sinabing si Director, uh, hindi naman lalam na two-star yun eh. So, and uh, after 28 years, ganyan pa rin. Hindi na nagbago. And uh, I could hear uh, radio interviews no? uh, with your, of course, with your colleagues. Ganun din ang tawag eh, na mga nag-interview. Sabi na, Colonel, 
Ganon din eh. So, all the more confusing. So, I agree with you. Total, wala namang, uh, wala namang constitutional, uh, ano, uh, walang negative uh, view, ano, uh, as regards our, sa constitutional provision. Yeah. So, sige, so... Uh, Mr. Chair, <laughs> sige. Uh, kumplitohin na natin, no? Sa EFP, pag, di ba, pag uh, uh, enlisted man, Automatic and Sarge, yes, di ba? Pag <laughs> Colonel, General, sa police in case of doubt, tawagin mong chief o bossing. <laughs> Walang sabla yun, di ba? SPO, mahirap. Many syllables. So, Many syllables. <laughs> bossing. Actually, sir, we also have a lot of experiences with regard to that. Even the regional director is compared to directors in the... Uh, in the uh, NHQ. They, they, they think that regional directors are the same as the directors yeah. in the uh, directorial staff. Uh, anyway, sir, we will submit as soon as possible our uh, evaluation comment and with the uh, briefing on the history of the Philippine National So we may not need to call uh, for uh, DBM's opinion anymore because there is no impact on the salary. Uh, anyway, but, so, but, sir, but uh, well, I, I'm not uh, second guessing the chair. No? It's, uh, it's his call, no? Pero maganda pa rin, nakausapin yung DBM. Para kompleto rekado kayo, pag submit ninyo, with or without DBM, it includes inputs from the DBM because of the uh, fiscal implications. Hmm. Mr. Chair? Chair? Yes, sir. Vice Chair. Thank you. Um, just a, he a heads up. I think uh, if we are talking here of the ranking system already, um, there is this, a momentum now uh, gaining in the lower house about reducing the educational requirement of uh, policemen from being bachelor's degree holder they are now moving for a possible lowering of the educational requirement to 72 units college which means it's will equivalent be equivalent to two years two years uh, k to 12 actually that's k to 12 and then uh, to me, it's going to create another layer of policemen, lower than a PO1. Because the PO1s now are degree holders, they remain in their ranks, so another layer with composed of 72 units uh, college students who can already join the police service, and they will be assigned to, I think, to the maneuver battalions. So there will be another adjustment of ranks here, uh, and another our latest incident is the upgrading of the ranks of certain officials in the PNP, like the CIDG being recommended to be upgraded to a three-star rank, the Highway Patrol Group, and the regional directors. These are things that are still in the op uh, open, which again might uh, have an impact on our efforts now to up uh, transpose the ranks from the a a a F uh, PNP to that of the AFP. That's incorporated in a separate measure, yung PNP reorganization. Mukhang kasama na doon. Ang problema ko lang, yung PO1 na degree holder, nagbebenta pa ng shabu, pag binawasan natin <laughs> ng two years college, baka, baka isang kilo na ibenta niya. That, that's my problem. Uh, I'm sorry to to uh, beat this issue doon. No? Uh, actually, Vice Chair Kasurao, important yung point niya, no? yung educational attainment. Now, this idea is not original. Huh? Uh, I got this from the Chair. The direction, according to him, should be e-government. Pag educational attainment na pinag-uusapan, this, this might be a remote issue, but to me, it's germane to the issue. No? Uh, nakikita ninyo ngayon, no? Uh, public attention is focused on the police. Yung ini-inspect ni Oka na patulog-tulog sa presinto. Kung nag-home study yun, because e-government will imply that classrooms will be obsolete one of these days. Abi kung nag-aaral na lang, alerto pa, gising pa, na-upgrade yung educational attainment. That might cut across the, the standards for, uh, for the PNP. Baka pwede ho ninyong pag-isipan prospectively, para we'll be in the same page with, uh, with our chairman. Pa, pa, Pag-aralan ninyo, it will connect everything. Of course, technology is making patience obsolete. 
di ba? Like uh, falling in love, you know, making legal, you do not delete and send and copy-paste. But that's another issue. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chair. So can you submit your position papers uh, maybe within one week, no? Para we can accelerate this. So before we go on break, possibly, I mean the Senate, you know, or Congress, maybe we can already pass this on third reading. Kasi to tell you honestly, binili ni Presidente ito na dalawa yun eh, rank classification at saka yung transfer ng training. Dalawa yung binili niya na kung pwedeng ipasa. No? Nagkataon lang sa House na ipasa na yung rank classification, dito wala pa. Sa Senate naman na ipasa na namin yung transfer, sa House wala pa. But we're coordinating closely with the uh, Congressman Akop, who incidentally, that rin PNP, and he was my controller when I was chief. So, madali lang coordination. So, with that, we terminate this hearing and we'll just await the submission. On the no. 13th of September, sir? On or before within the 13th? Within the week, sir. huh? Yes, sir. Ah, oh, within this week, sir? No, no, not this week. Kasi Next week, Hercules sir. Na eh. Yes, sir. Uh, on or before the 13th of week, September, yeah. sir? Yeah, starting yes, sir. Uh, Monday, yung one week na yan. Yes, sir. Okay? We will, sir. So, Thank you, sir. So, maraming salamat sa inyo lahat and uh, have a good day.